Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing slash review. Today we're taking a look at Miyuki Shirogane from Love is War. This is following up after the Kaguya video. So if you haven't gone and watched that already, go give it a check out. I also forgot to mention how cool I think these boxes look. In that last one, I like that each of them have like that color theme as well as like the little kind of frame around it. It's very nice. And also, also the hearts and the, the, the heartbeats and all that. Very cute. Cute as heck. So let's take a quick look at that. That's a Mickey Mouse looking face. Not gonna lie. Very cute. Once again, we've got the cat ears that Kaguya had. But like uh, in the show, Miyuki's are white. I keep going back and forth between should I call him Miyuki or Shirogane. Once again, we have the instructions at the top of the box. Not sure why. I guess maybe at some point they decided to change it. Because actually, now that I think about it, this is probably the latest Nendroid I have. The Kaguya and, or at least that I've unboxed so far. As opposed to all the ones previously. So maybe they're just doing a new format. And then once again, on the inside, we have the student council room. So this is to the right. So where their table and chair is, where they usually play games and stuff and have lunch and all those cool things. I wonder if surely they're not going to give like a back part for the door. Maybe with Ino or Ishigami if they ever get released. I'm sure they will at some point. But uh, I wonder if they'll do a full room then. Can make a full on diorama. Okay, last time I didn't notice this was taped on. So let's see. There we go. Sneaky tape. Get rid of that. Don't need it. Alright. So, once again, we have the uh, word effect parts. Let's pull them out. See if I can vaguely guess the translation based on my limited Japanese knowledge and knowledge of the show. Ugh. What? What's going on here? How's this taped down? Why is it done weirdly? There we go. Oh wait, the, the tape is just thicker than what I'm used to. Okay, so all the usual bits and pieces, same as Kaguya. So I won't go over them again, but what we're looking at are these guys. So we've got this here, uh, which is the right way. That doesn't look right, so this must be it. Um, what the heck does this say? Something now. Uh, I, I recognize the bottom one, but that's it. What's the top one? That looks like te- Oh, those are like the two little like lines, so maybe de? I don't know. Someone can tell me. This should be easy. Alright, then over here we have... Probably Miyuki's win and loss. Or Shiragane. Ugh. There we go. So that's win and lose for him. Then we have this again, uh, which I don't remember what it is. Or maybe this is just no one wins or everyone wins. And then this one, which is unique to him. Um, no idea. No idea what this says at all. Someone tell me in the comments down below. Can't read Katakana. Oh, sorry. What's it called? Kanji at all. So I won't even try. All right, we can get rid of these. Pull this out. That came off easy. There we go. Not as easy. Oh, interesting, they put some in between his arms. That's not normal. Wonder why they did that. All right, there we go. 
Nice and neat. And there we go. Shiragane in all his glory. Man, his eyes look terrifying in this light. Jeez. What's going on there, buddy? You got some deep-seated issues that you want to talk about? I gotta say, though, like, the mold on his hair isn't fantastic. Like, what the heck is this going on here? What is this line? And what are all these bumps and other lines? That's, uh, not too great, considering it's a good small product. I'd expect a little bit better. But, uh, I suppose it happens. I'm gonna guess that maybe I just got a defective one, and hopefully not all of them are like this. But, who knows? You guys can tell me in the comments down below. And, of course, he's got that little, like, brooch thing for being the student council president. Alright. As for faceplates... We've got this shifty-eyed one here. Man, he looks like a demon. He looks like something out of Demon Slayer. And then we have the Mickey Mouse looking one. For him doing something dumb. Like, eh? Nutty. Very nice. And then, once again, we have the cat ears and a bunch of arm bits. So, like I mentioned, Shirogana gets Shiro, the white ones. Kaguya gets black. And uh, then we also have him with his smartphone there, as opposed to Kaguya's flip phone. Uh, just remembering it brings back good memories. And uh, that is pretty much it. What the heck was over here? Was there anything there? No, it's just a little holdy bit. Okay, fair enough. Um, and that is it for what's in the box, so let's jump into some poses. Alright, and just like Kaguya, we're going to just show off the extra faceplate that I'm not going to use, as well as the cat ears real quick. It attaches in the same way in that you pull apart the hairpiece and then just kind of slot it back in with the cat ears on. With the little plastic thing in between. And uh, yeah, very nice. Very cute. Honestly, I feel like these ones would work better on Kaguya. Just because they're like white and pink, whereas black would kind of be more uh, Miyuki style. So I don't know. You can swap them if you want, but uh, that's pretty much it for this, so let's just, uh, just looking at him, man. Oh, anyway, let's move on to the, the next pose. And once again, we also have a phone pose for Shirogane. I know I keep switching back between the new name, the two names, but oh well. Um, so yeah, Shirogane's got a smartphone, just like in the show, compared to Kaguya's flip phone. Again, this thing is made out of the same rubber. So just be a little careful with it. This one's a little better because it doesn't need to bend. So you can just have it straight and that should be fine in the box. Um, but again, do keep an eye out for Kaguya's one being a flip phone and all that. So yeah, very simple pose. All you do is swap out the uh, straight hand for the bent hand and then put the phone uh, arm, phone hand holding arm hand thing in to the arm and then you're good to go. Really easy, really simple. For a simple guy, honestly, it kind of suits him. But it is what it is. Let's move on to our final pose. Okay, so a small little side bit that I just noticed while putting everything back. So the way they are now designing the boxes, it seems, it's got like a little overhang rather than just a straight hole. So you can actually push them in there and they'll stay there relatively well. Like obviously not with the hair bit, but the arms stick in there. As long as it's got that, you should be fine with most things, but of course that is probably what is bending the phone on Kaguya's one at least. So do be careful when you're pulling them out, I guess pull it out gently and carefully so that the phone or any gentle bits don't end up hitting these rubber notches that are sticking out, keeping everything in place. But, smart design, good smile, I'm glad you're still upping your game. Anyway, let's get back to that final pose. Alright, and at last we're here at Shirogane doing his best to impersonate his dad, Dio, doing that iconic pose of where Dio is uh, all shadowy and stuff and doing the finger thing where he looks like he's gonna um, Thanos everything, but he doesn't. So uh, yeah, good times. Great, great choice, Shirogane. Um, very nice pose as well. Again, it's very much exactly like what the show would show you again. Similar to Kaguya, it's him looking serious, but who knows what's going on in his head. It would be, uh, pretty, pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, so, uh, again, my complaints with Shirogane is similar to Kaguya, 
as as this review is similar to Kaguya. So once again, fragile parts. Uh, actually, well, honestly, there's not really fragile parts with him because his phone doesn't bend. So we're all good with that. But uh, as as for variety, I feel like it's lacking. Again, I would have liked to have seen some accessories mimicking the first opening. That stuff is great. Again, you could have done that with the second opening even as well because they had similar things and similar themes than that. I feel like it's such a shame letting a great opening like that go to waste. You could have made so many things as well as it's a comedy anime. There's so much to pull from. Um, especially with boys though. Like if it's just a school uniform boy, you've kind of got to get some accessories and the phone and the cat ears don't really cut it and nor do the text bits, especially if you don't speak Japanese. I wish they would have translated some for English, that would have been nice, but um, it is what it is. I suppose we can't help it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But we can't end the video without putting the two together. I'll have to keep them slightly apart. But there we go. So they'll both be looking at each other on my shelf where I decide to put them. Very nice. I think it's a nice little group pose thing they've got going on here. They won't be able to touch completely because of the stands being in the way. I suppose I could work around that, but I think I'll keep them apart just a little bit. It's a very, very nice way to end. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe, you know, all that cool stuff. And I will see you all in the next one. All right, bye.